Good morning. Brother George, Sister Sherry, good morning, Sam. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Minister Bird. Good morning, Yvette. Blessings to each one of you. Pray that you are doing well this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning, Aisha. Good morning. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Pray that each one of you are doing well. Pray that each one of you are doing well. All right. Come on, make sure you invite at least 10 people. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. Good morning, Tierra. Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful night of rest. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. Good morning, Valerie. Blessings to you, Willie, Tempest, Tina. Thank you. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. Make sure you invite at least 10. I'm going to get Facebook going here. I'm going to get Facebook going. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for inviting your followers. 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 When you're ready, say ready. When you're ready, say ready. When you're ready, good morning, Renee. The Lord bless and keep you. Blessings. Make sure you invite your followers. Make sure you invite your followers. Good, I see that. Make sure you invite your followers. Make sure you invite your followers. I'm getting Facebook ready. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious. Thank you, Suzanne. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Thank you. All right. Good, good, good. All right, good morning, my daughter. Blessings to you, Benita. Good morning, Suzanne. Okay, excellent. Good morning, Sister Anne. Blessings to you. Good morning, Nicole. Make sure you share this morning. Make sure you share this morning. Good morning, Regina. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Good morning, Robin. We miss you. Blessings to you and your family. Pray that you're doing good. Good morning, everyone. Make sure you share with at least 10 people this morning. Make sure you share with at least 10 people. Make sure you share with at least 10 people. All right, let's get going. All right, this morning, our subject is, how is your soul? Good morning, evangelist. Carolyn, good morning. Blessings to you, woman of God. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Come on, write it down. How is your soul? That's what we're going to talk about this morning. How 
is your soul? How is your soul? Third John and verse 2. Third John, verse 2. Good morning, Latasha. Blessings to you. Good morning. How is your soul? That is our subject this morning. How is your soul? How is your soul? Third John and 2. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Good morning, Dina. Thank you, Renea. Good morning, Dina. Blessings to you. How is your soul? Thank you, Benita. Thank you, Robin. How is your soul? Good. How is your soul? Okay, 3rd John and 2. Put that scripture down for me, please. 3rd John and 2. How is your soul? 3rd John and 2. 3rd John and 2. Make sure you share. 3rd John and 2. Good. How is your soul? Good. Excellent. All right. Well, let's look at this. Good morning, Willie. Let's look at this because we need to define uh, what the soul is. We need to define what the soul is. Uh-oh. Facebook went out for a second. Hold on, Facebook. How is your soul? Good. How is your soul? Good morning, Raven. Good morning. Sorry about that, Facebook. The internet is not too hot. Okay, how is your soul? Good morning, glory. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. All right, good morning, Dawn. Blessings to you. All right, write this down. Your soul, your soul. Thank you for sharing, Dawn. Benita, Suzanne, write this down. Your soul is your mind your will, and your emotions. Write that down. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your soul is your mind, your will, and emotions. That's what your soul is, uh, Dawn. It is your mind, your will, and emotions. Good morning, Evangelist Bryant. That's what your soul is, Suzanne. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Good. Good, Latasha. Good. Good, Raven. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Good. Evangelist Carolyn. Good. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Good. Okay. Good. That's what your soul is. Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Okay. You are a spirit. You live in a body, and you possess a soul. Write that down. You are a spirit, you live in a body, Robin, and you possess a soul. You are a spirit, you live in a body, and you possess a soul, okay? Good morning, Shimani. Good morning. Lenore, the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You are a spirit. Good. Good, Raven. Good, Minister Bird. You are a spirit. You live in a body and you possess a soul. And your soul is three things, your mind, your will, and your emotions. Okay. Make sure you share as you come on. As you come on, make sure you share with at least 10 people this morning. Okay. So your mind, your will, and your emotions make up your soul. Good. You are a spirit, Lenore. You live in a body and you possess a soul. You are a spirit. You live in a body and you possess a soul. In your mind, that is your thinking tank. Your mind is your thinking tank. Your will is your decision making power and your emotions or your feelings okay so in your soul suzanne you have your mind your think tank 
you have your will, your decision-making power, and then you have your emotions, your feelings, okay? I want to give you a couple of scriptures. I want to give you a couple of scriptures, uh, Genesis. Okay, good. Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis 2 and 7. I want to read that to you. God breathed into man, and man became a living soul. Thank you, Renan. God breathed into man, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils, and breathed the breath of life, and man became a living soul. You got that? Man became a living soul. I just want you to see the different scriptures that talk about the soul, okay? Man became a living soul, okay? Here's another one, James chapter 1, verse 21. James 1 and 21. James 1 and 21. Thank you, Minister Bird. James 1 and 21. Okay. Wherefore, lay apart all fit filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness. Watch this. Thank you, Renan. Receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Okay. Genesis 2 and 7, man became a living soul. James 1.21 says, when you receive the engrafted word, it is able, Tierra, to save your soul. It is able, Tierra, to save your soul. Well, something is going on here, Evangelist Bryant, because James is writing to people who are already saved. So it must be possible, Evangelist Carolyn, it must be possible, Robin, it must be possible, Dina, for you to be saved and your soul not be saved. Let me say that again. It is possible for you to be saved and your soul not to be saved. Why? Because your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. And most people don't understand this. They don't understand that even though you're saved, your soul is not saved. Your soul is not saved because your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. In order for there to be a transformation in your soulless realm, you've got to renew your mind. You've got to submit your will and your emotions to the spirit. Let me say that again. You've got to renew the mind. You've got to submit your will and your emotions to your spirit. Okay? So you are saved, but your soul is not saved. And you know that. All you got to do is look at your life. Look at how you think. Look at the decisions that you make. Look how you're caught up in your feelings. Look how your feelings keep bringing you back into situations that are no good for you? How many times have you emotionally been tied to people? And the, your emotions keep bringing you back into relationships that are no good for you. That's good, Pastor. Yeah. Come on. Tap that screen if you're receiving this morning. Tap that screen if you're receiving. Come on. Come on. Somebody make this declaration, Lord, save my soul. Come on. Lord, save my soul. How, do you, how does he save your soul? By you renewing your mind and you submitting your will and submitting your emotions to the Lord. Dawn, you've got to renew your mind through the word. You've got to renew your mind through the word. And then you've got to submit your will 
in your emotions to the Lord. Okay? You've got to renew your mind through the word, and then you've got to submit your will and your emotions to the Lord. Good morning, Sandy. Blessings to you and your family. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining. We're talking this morning, how is your soul? How is your soul? Okay. Here's another scripture. Mark 8, 35. Mark 8, 35. Mark 8, 35. Okay. We had Genesis 2 and 7. Man became a living soul. James 1, 26. Thank you, Robin. James 1 and 21, that you're able to have your soul saved. Good morning, Aunt Rita. Blessings to you. All right, Mark chapter 8 and 35. Good morning, Helen. Blessings to you. Good morning, Lisa. Blessings to you. Make sure you share as you come on. Make sure you share as you come on. Make sure you share as you come on. Make sure you share. We're talking about how is your soul? How is your soul? How is your soul? Good. Good morning. All right, watch this. Mark chapter 8, verse 35. Jesus said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mark 8, 35. James 1 and 21. Receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Genesis 2 and 7. And God breathed into man, and man became a living soul. God breathed into man, and man became a living soul. Okay? And another scripture that we read, 3 John, write this down. That's, that's, that's our foundational text. Write it down, 3 John and 2. God bless you, Brendan. 3 John and 2. Let's go there. That's our foundational text. If you are receiving, tap that screen. Remember, tap that screen if you're receiving. You are a spirit. You live in a body and you possess a soul. You are a spirit. You live in a body. You possess a soul. Your soul is made up of three components. Your mind, your will, your emotions. Some say five. But those are the three main components, okay? Your mind, your will, and your emotions, okay? Third John, verse 2. Third John, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Oh, yeah, we all do, Dawn. We all do. We all do. We all need help with those emotions. But how the way you get help with your emotions, you've got to submit your emotions, submit your will to your spirit. Okay? You've got to renew your mind through the word, submit your will and your emotions to your spirit. The Bible says, Jesus said, not my will, but thy will be done. Okay? Okay. All right. Good. You see that? Write this down. That thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. Where's my bomb squad at? Where's my bomb squad this morning? Where's my bomb squad this morning? Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Minister Bird. Thank you, Tiara. Okay, write this down. Where's my bomb squad on Facebook? Where's my bomb squad on Facebook? Okay, watch this. This is a bomb. Okay, according to this verse, Evangelist Carolyn, according to this verse, George, Sister Sherry, according to this verse, 
As my soul goes, so goes my life. Write that down, Sam. As your soul goes, so goes your life. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle, the author. The Lord bless and keep you. Watch this, Robin. As your soul goes, so goes your life. Good, Minister Bird. That's powerful. As your soul goes, so goes your life. And that's why many people are not living a prosperous life because they are not prospering in your soul. They're not prospering in their soul. Thank you, Latasha. Come on. If you are not prospering in your soul, you are poor in every area of your life. If you are not prospering in your soul, then you are in, you are, watch this, you are in poverty in every area of your life. See, you are in poverty in every area of your life. If your soul is not prospering, then you are poor in every other area of your life. Show me a person that doesn't prosper in their soul. I'll show you a person that is poor in every area of their life. Okay. Good morning, Kiwasha. Love you. Bless you. Good morning, Zoe. Love you, man of God. Come on. Yeah, this is powerful. Good morning, Nicole. Blessings to you and your family. Come on. As your soul goes, so goes your life. As your soul goes, so goes your life. And if you're not prospering in your soul, then you're not prospering in any other area of your life. Hallelujah. Good morning, Kiwasha. Blessings to you. Okay. So 3 John verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. Okay? You are not just spiritually. You are not just physically. You are psychologically and you are also emotionally. That's what makes you up. You are a spirit. Father, we thank you for the seed sown by Sam this morning. Every seed meets his need in the name of Jesus. Good, Dawn. Come on. You, you are more than just spirit. You are a spirit. You live in a body, but you possess a soul. And there are a lot of people. Come on. Watch this. Most people's life is out of balance. Write that down. Most people's life is out of balance. Write that down. Most people's life is out of balance. Most people's life is out of balance. If you are receiving this morning, tap that screen. If you're being encouraged, if you're being enlightened, if you're being strengthened, if you're being blessed by this word, come on, tap that screen. Tap that screen. Come on, tap that screen. The Holy Spirit is helping us. The Holy Spirit is teaching us. Come on. Pastor Bryant, how could you make that statement? How could you say that most people's life is out of balance? Come on. Come on. Somebody say, why do you say that, Pastor Bryant? How do you say that, Pastor Bryant? How do you say that most people's lives are out of balance? Most people's lives are why do you say that? And how can you say that? Thank you, Robin. Thank you. How, how can you say that? You know how I say that? Because, though most people just focus on their lives spiritually. Most people focus on their lives spiritually, but you're three parts. You are three parts, Benita. You can't just focus on your spiritual life. And so they focus on their spiritual life, but they let their physical life go. And then there are some people who just focus on their physical life. 
They get up in the morning. They go to the gym. They go to the gym three and four times a week. And you're focusing on your physical life, but not your spiritual life. And then there are others who focus on their spiritual life and not their physical life. And then there are others who focus on their spiritual life. And then they also focus on their physical life, but they never focus on their soul. And this morning, I want to know how is your soul? I know you go to the gym. I know you're good. I know you're working out. I know you're doing push-ups. I know you're doing squats. I know you're looking good physically. I know you go to church. I know you read your Bible and you're doing good spiritually. You're doing good physically, but I want to know how is your soul? Because if you're not prospering in your soul, you are failing in life. Hallelujah. See? And so that's why most people's lives are out of balance because they never focus on the most important part of them. They never focus on the most important part of them. Write that down. Your soul is the most important part of your life. Write it down. Your soul is the most important part of your life. Your soul, Suzanne, is the most important part of your life. Your spirit is good because your spirit, once you accept Christ, is filled with his spirit. Your body is just dirt. Your body will only do what your soul makes it do. But your soul is the most important part of your life. You know why? Because your soul is the mediator between your spirit and body. Write that down. Why is it the most important part of your life? Because it is the mediator between your spirit and body. Good morning, Gloria. Blessings to you and your family. Pray that you're doing well this morning. Come on. Thank you, Nicole. To God be the glory. Come on. Your soul is the mediator between your spirit and body. Robin, Benita, Rita, Dina, Zoe, your soul, thank you, Raven, is the mediator between your spirit and body. Your soul, my God, I'm learning today. Good, Tierra. Your soul is the mediator. It's the mediator, Dawn, between your spirit and body. Come on. Your soul is the mediator between your spirit and body. Therefore, your soul determines what the body receives. My God, excuse me. Your soul determines what your spirit will receive. Come on. Thank you, Dawn. That's a bomb. That's a bomb. Come on. Robin, Suzanne, your soul dictates what your spirit will receive. Zoe, your soul dictates what your spirit will receive. Your soul determines what your spirit will receive. Come on. Somebody say, Pastor Bryant, where does the soul get the information from? Come on. Where does the soul get the information from? Can I help you this morning? Come on, tap that screen. Come on. Does anybody want to know where does the soul get the information to give to my spirit? Thank you, Nicole. Okay, so watch this. The soul, come on, receives the soul receives from the body through the senses. Come on. The soul receives from the body through the five senses. Your soul, Nicole, receives from your body, Raven, through the five senses. Robin, your soul receives from your body, George, through your five senses. Your soul gets the information from the body through the five senses. And then whatever the body gives the soul, the soul deposits it in the spirit. 
So the soul receives from the body and then it deposits the information into your spirit. Come on. Kiwasha, your soul receives from your body through your five senses. And then it takes what it gets and it downloads it into your spirit. So if you never deal with your soul, then you'll be feeding your spirit junk. My God, hit my, somebody help me, Minister Bird. If you never deal with your soul, then you're going to feed your spirit junk. Evangelist Carolyn, if we do not deal with our soul, then you're going to feed your spirit junk. And most people are feeding their spirit junk because they're just taking, come on, what they get from the body and giving it to their spirit. Hallelujah. Come on, say the soul is the most important. The soul is the most important. Come on. The soul is the most important. Come on, somebody say why. The soul is the most important. Come on. Come on. Somebody say why. The soul is the most important. The soul is the most important. You know why? Because he is the one that determines what the spirit. So he has two options. Write this down. The soul has two options. Come on. The soul has two options. The soul has two options. The soul has, thank you, Renee. Thank you, Glory. The soul has two options, Robin. The soul has two options. The soul has two options. The soul is either going to receive or reject. The soul has two options, to receive or reject. The soul has two options, to receive or reject. To receive the information or reject it. To receive it, thank you, or reject it. <clears throat> the soul has two options. To receive the information or reject. I need a cleansing. <laughs> Come on. The soul has two options, Tierra. It's either going to receive the information or reject it. Good, Renee. Good. Okay. Good, Suzanne. Okay. What determines what the soul will do? Write that down. What determines what the soul will do? What determines what the soul will do? What determines it? Somebody ask that question. What determines the soul has two options? It's either going to receive or reject. What determines what the soul will do? Whether your mind is renewed. Good, your will, good. Your mind, your mind. Whether your mind is renewed or not. If your mind is not renewed, your, you will receive anything. If your mind is not renewed, your soul will receive anything. <clears throat> but if your mind is renewed, then your soul will reject garbage. Your soul will reject mess. Come on. And the reason why your soul keeps receiving everything because your mind is not renewed. When your mind is renewed, then your soul will not receive anything that is not in line with the word. Come on. Your soul will not receive anything that is not in line with the word when it's renewed. But when your soul, your mind is not renewed, it will receive anything. It will receive anything. Some of you, some of you love gossiping. Some of you love gossiping. That's because your mind is not renewed. When your mind is renewed, you will not receive gossip from other people because gossip is junk. Gossip is mess. 
You won't sit around tearing people down. Why? Because that's mess. You're destroying other people. That's how you know your mind is not renewed. That's how you know your mind is not renewed. Because your, your, your soul would reject that. Don't listen to that, Suzanne. Don't listen to that, Rita. Don't listen to that, Minister Bird. Reject that. That is your brother. That is your sister. Build them up. Only speak words to build up. Only speak words to encourage. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody shout, I feel myself growing up. Come on. Make this declaration. I feel myself growing up. How is your soul? How is your soul? How is your soul? Good. Good, Tempest. Come on. Good, Yvette. Come on. I'm growing up. Why? Because I'm learning. I'm understanding. Before, I didn't recognize this. Before, I was just going through the motions. Now, I'm going to spend time on my soul. Come on. How many of you know you need to spend time on your soul? You've got to do some soul maintenance. Come on. You've got to do some soul maintenance. Come on. Good, Lisa. Good, Glory. How many of you realize that? You've got to do some soul maintenance. Good, Renee. Good, Zoe. Good, Benita. Good, Raven. Good, Robin. Come on. You've got to do some soul maintenance. Okay? Hallelujah. Those of you who are single... Those of you who want to get married, you better understand the power of the soul. Let me say that again. Those of you who are single, those of you who desire to get married, you better understand the power of the soul. Come on. Because if you mess around and get the wrong soulmate, it's going to be checkmate. Let me say that again. If you don't understand the power of the soul, you will get the wrong soulmate and it will be checkmate. Checkmate means the game is over. And there are some people now who are married and they're in checkmate because they are miserable, they are lonely, and they're married because they did not find out how important the soul was. When you don't understand the soul, then you'll get the wrong mate. God has a mate for your soul. Come on. God has a mate for your soul. And there are some people who are married, they have the same last name, and they're just professional roommates because they are not soulmates. They are professional roommates. They have the same last name, but they don't minister to each other's soul. God has a mate for your soul. All right. Come on, if you're receiving, tap that screen. If you're receiving, tap that screen. God help us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. God has a mate for your soul. The word soulmate. Come on. God has a mate for your soul. The word soulmate is not found in the scripture. Thank you. The word soulmate is not found in the scripture, but you hear people use it. The term soulmate is not in the Bible. Okay? But God does have a soul for your mate. He does have a mate for your soul. So you must have an accurate understanding of the soul. Write this down. I must have an accurate understanding of the soul. Come on. If you want a mate for your soul, Raven... If you want a mate for your soul, Benita, if you want a mate for your soul, Robin, you've got to have an accurate understanding of the soul. 
You've got to know what the soul is. Father, we thank you now for Minister Gary sowing this morning. We speak increase, abundance, and favor over him and his wife in Jesus' name. Come on. In order for you to have a mate for your soul, you must have an accurate understanding of the soul. Father, we thank you for another seed sown by Minister Gary and Sister Jermaine this morning. We thank you that every seed meets their need in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Come on. If you're receiving this morning, tap that screen. How many of you are blessed? This has been a powerful revelation this morning. This has been a powerful revelation. This has given you a better understanding of the soul. You are a spirit. You live in a body and you possess a soul. Good, Nicole. You are a spirit. Nicole, you don't have a spirit. Nicole, you are a spirit. Evangelist Carolyn, you don't have a spirit. Gloria, you are a spirit and you live in a body, and you possess a soul. The most important part of your life is your soul. No wonder the psalmist said, he restores my soul. Come on, somebody shout, Lord, restore my soul. The psalmist said, he restores my soul. My God, I decree and declare that God is restoring your soul. How does he restore your soul? By giving you an accurate understanding of the soul. How does your soul be restored? You must get an accurate understanding of what the soul is. He restores my soul. Good God Almighty. Good, Wendy. Good. Hallelujah. My God, this is powerful. Lord, we thank you. All right, let me close with this. Let me close with this. What time is it? What time is it? There you go. I love it. Good, Suzanne. Good. Good, Nicole. Yeah, you need to have an accurate understanding of the soul. Okay, good. We got some more time. Thank you. Okay, good. Let me give you something. Are you ready? Can we go, can we go a little further? Can we go a little further? God bless you, Taisha. Blessings to you and your family. Come on. Can I give you a little bit more this morning? <clears throat> Come on. Come on. A soul mate. God has a mate for your soul. God has a mate for your soul. He has a mate for your soul. Bless you, Brendan. Okay, he has a mate for your soul. Watch this. What is a soul mate? What is a soul mate? A God ordained pit for your life. Write that down. I'm going to give you three things. Three things. Three things about a soul mate or a mate for your soul. These are for people who are single, but also for married people. These are three things for single people and three things for married people. Those of you who are married, you're already in there. You're already in there. So now you've got to ask God to restore that. You've got to ask God to restore that. But those of you who are single, now you're going to know what to look for. Come on. A soulmate or a mate for your soul is a God-ordained pit. Write that down, a God-ordained pit. A God-ordained pit for your life. And you've got to understand. Come on, how many of you will be honest? How many of you will be honest? You've got to come to the conclusion, Glory, Renair, that you do not know how to pick. Uh-oh. You've got to come to the conclusion that you do not know how to pick. When it comes to a soulmate, you do not know how to pick. Therefore, you must allow God to choose for you. My God. How many people, how many people have you met 
and you said, this is the one. How many times have you said, this is the one? How many times have you said, this is the one? You thought it was the one, and it wasn't the one. Come on. You know, you know what makes for good decision making? Becoming self-aware. You've got to know your strengths. You've got to know your strengths and you've got to know your limitations. Okay. Number one, what is a mate for my soul? Number one, a God ordained pick for your life. A God ordained pick for your life. Okay. Number two. How do you know they're, they are suitable for your soul? Write that down. Number two, they are suitable for your soul. Come on. Number one, it's a God-ordained pick for your life. That means that God has chosen someone for your life. Good, Shimani. Good, Lenore. God-ordained pick. Let's go back there. Write this down. I must choose what God has chosen for me. It is possible for, let me say this because this is important. Put down this bomb. Let me say this, Robin. Let me say this, Rita, but Benita, Zoe, Tyasia. Let me say this, Sam, Glory, Valerie, Tempest, Tina. Let me say this. It is possible to choose a mate that God does not it is possible, Wendy, to choose somebody that God never chose for you. It is possible to choose someone that is not a mate for your soul. It is possible to choose someone that is not a mate for your soul. So you must choose what God has chosen for you. Write that down. I must choose what God has chosen for me. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. You've got to know that God has already chosen that person. But now you've got to want what God wants for you. And many times you cannot wait, so you choose what you want. Thank you, Trash. Good. There, I love it. Good, Trash. I must choose what God has chosen. Good, Trash, for me. Come on. You must choose what God has chosen for you. Come on, you've got to choose what God has chosen for you, okay? Number one, it's a God-ordained pick. It's a God-ordained pick for your life. I'm waiting on the Lord. Good, 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 good. Watch this, watch this. Those of you, I saw that a couple of times. Instead of waiting on the Lord, watch this. Instead of waiting on the Lord, O-N, wait in the Lord. Okay, watch this. Instead of waiting on the Lord, wait in the Lord. Come on. Your husband should find you in the Lord. Your husband should find you in the Lord. Come on. In order to get to you, he has to go through God. Come on, in order to get to you, he has to come through God. That's what you want. You want him to come through God to find you. Come on, he that findeth a wife, my God, findeth a good thing, my God. In order to get me, you've got to come to God. Why? Because I'm waiting in God. I'm waiting to be found. I'm not trying to look for somebody. I'm not trying to get on a dating website. I'm not trying to hook up through my best friend. I am waiting in the Lord. And the Lord will lead you right to where I'm at. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. My God, y'all done got me stirred up now. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, that's how you know you got the right one because they'll have to go through God to get through you, to you. They'll have to go through God to get to you. Why? Because that's where you are. That's where you are. You are in God. You are in God. 
All right. Number one, a God ordained pick for your life. Number two, they are suitable for your soul. That means they're suitable for your mind, suitable for your will, suitable for your emotions. Okay. You ever met a person that could not handle you emotionally? Have you ever met a person that could not handle you logically the way you think? You shouldn't want to be with a person that you have to dumb down for. You can't show how intelligent you are because they are intimidated by your intelligence. A, a true man is not intimidated by a strong woman. A true man is not intimidated by a strong woman. A true man wants a strong woman. I am not intimidated by an intelligent wife. I thank God that my wife is intelligent. And if you have to dumb down yourself to be with somebody, then you don't need to be with them. Let me say that again. If you have to dumb down yourself, to be with somebody, then, then that's not the mate for your soul. You can't even begin to talk about what you want because it's all about what they want. It's all about them. No, you have your own identity. You have your own identity. You are complete in Christ. You're not complete in your mate. You're complete in Christ. Thank God for your spouse but you are complete in Christ because if your spouse begins to act up, if your spouse does, uh, they make up their mind to leave you, you've got to know I am still complete. Now, I want this to work, but if you want to leave, I'm not going to allow you to threaten me. I'm not going to allow you to push me around. I'm not going to allow you to demean me. I'm not going to allow you to abuse me physically, mentally, and I'm and you expect I'm not going to allow that. Why? Because I'm complete in Christ. Before I met you, I was complete, and if you choose to leave me, I'm still complete. Oh my. All right. All right. Well, bless the Lord. All right. Last one. Number one, what is a mate for your soul? Number one, a God ordained pick for your life. Number two, a mate for your soul is someone who is suitable for your mind, your will, and your emotions. Number three, write this down, capital letters. This is it. When you're ready, say ready. This is number three, Zoe. This is number three. When you're ready, say ready. Trash, this is number three. When you're ready, say ready, Bonita. Say ready. Latasha, good. Wendy, good. Renee, good. Number three, I need you to write it in capital letters, Gloria. I need you to write it in capital letters, Brendan. Number three, I need you to write it in capital letters, George. Number three, a God ordained pick for your life. Number one, they're suitable for your soul. Number two, Lisa. Lastly, they are necessary. For your assignment. Good God Almighty. They are necessary for your assignment. Come on. How do you know someone's a mate for your soul, Benita? Trash. They are necessary for your assignment. Some of you, you can't even fulfill your assignment because you're connected to people who are fighting against your assignment. They are jealous of your assignment. Number three, they are necessary for your assignment. Good God Almighty, I feel like preaching. My God, they are necessary for your assignment. My God, somebody said, I didn't even know I had an assignment. Hallelujah. When they come in your life, they're helping you, Dawn, to fulfill your assignment. Come on. They're helping you to fulfill your assignment. They're not taking you away, Aisha. They're not taking you away, Aisha, Benita, Rita. They're not taking you away from your assignment. They're helping you 
to fulfill your assignment. They're helping you to become who you thought you could not become. They're helping you to do what you thought you could not do. Let me say it again. They're, they're able to help you become what you thought you could not become. They're able to help you do what you thought you could not do. They are necessary for your assignment. Number one, a mate for your soul, a God-ordained pick for your life. Number two, they are suitable for your mind, your will, and your emotions. And number three, they are necessary for your assignment. Thank you, Suzanne. Awesome. Thank you. I like that. Thank you for putting all three down there. All right. Were well, you blessed today? Come on, tap that screen if you were blessed. If you received that revelation today, tap that screen. I asked you a question at the outset. How is your soul. That's what our lesson was today. How is your soul? Come on. Were you blessed today? Were you blessed today? Were you encouraged today? Were you strengthened today? <clears throat> Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. <clears throat> Once again, <clears throat> we want to thank you for your support. Thank you for joining us this morning. I need everyone, those of you who will, revelation. Oh, yeah, that, that's what it was. Nothing but revelation. Good. They are helping you become who. Yay! Come on, Bonita. Go ahead, daughter. Come on. Come on. Do me a favor this morning. Do me a favor this morning. Put down. Put down the information. I want everybody this morning. I want everybody this morning. I want everybody this morning to sow, if you would. Can you do that for me this morning? We're asking all of you, if you were blessed, if you were blessed through this scope, through this message, we're asking each one of you. Good. Thank you. Put up the website in the cash app, if you were blessed. Then we're asking you to be a blessing this morning. If you are blessed, thank you. It's going up on Periscope. It's going up on Facebook, okay? So we asked you this morning, you just go to the website, go to the Cash App. You can do that. All right? Anyone need prayer before we go? Thank you, my daughter. Thank you for putting up that. Thank you. Thank you, putting up the website, the Cash App. Come on. How many of you are really blessed this morning? That word, bless my soul. I've been doing uh, a real powerful study on the soul. I've been teaching on the soul all week long. I've been teaching on the soul all week long. And it has been blessing us. It has transformed us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to watch the replay. There was so much. How many of you know so much revelation today, Lisa? So much revelation today, Dawn. So much revelation. Father, we thank you for Rita sowing. We thank you that every seed meets her need in Jesus' name. September to remember. Thank you so much. Those of you who are joining us in our consecration, those of you who are joining us, we are past the halfway point. Pray for healing my little sister, my mother. Father, we thank you for Brother George and his mom and sister. We thank you, Lord. Your hand has been upon them. You have did so many miracles. Now we speak over them healing, wholeness, and health. In Jesus' name, it is so, and so it is. Father, we decree and declare supernatural surprises. We decree and declare a September to remember you are honoring your word through your people. We thank you. We have heard your word. We receive your word. Now help us to do it. We have heard your word. Come on. We have received your word. Now help us to apply it. We have heard your word concerning the soul. We receive your word concerning the soul. Now help us to apply it. Help us to submit our will. Help us to submit our emotions and then help us to renew our mind through your word. That's how we deal with the soul. We renew our mind. 
We submit our will. We submit our emotions. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. All right. Anyone else need prayer? Father, we thank you this morning for Tress showing. We thank you for her and her family. Continue to bless them. Thank you that every seed meets her need in Jesus' name. Two more hours to breath. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Good. Good, Nicole. Heard it. Receive it. Apply it. There you go. Good. Good, good, Lisa, for you and Pastor Jonathan. Good. Father, we pray for surgery uh, for Tina McDowell. We thank you as you take her through this surgery. We thank you that you've given the doctors and the surgeons wisdom. Thank you for a full and speedy recovery in Jesus' name. I have been following the empowerment teaching about the soul. I transferred jobs the week after 31 years. Oh, man. Wait a minute. That's a powerful testimony. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Listen to this. Dawn says, I've been following the empowerment teaching about the soul. I transferred jobs this week after 31 years. And this word on the soul is leading me through it. Awesome. Thank you, Dawn, for sharing that. That is powerful. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Father, we thank you for Renee. We thank you that your hand is upon her for her to prosper in all that she does. We thank you. She will prosper as her soul prospers. Father, we thank you for Lorenzo continual healing from his surgery. We thank you for what you're doing. Draw him closer to you in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the seed sown this morning by Wendy. We thank you that every seed meets her need in Jesus' name. Good morning, Minister Deborah. Blessings to you, woman of God. All right, anyone else need prayer? Thank you so much. This lesson has been powerful. Please, ma'am, please, sir, if you have been blessed, share this message, but not only share it, go back over it. Go back over this message. You, There's no way you could have got everything one time. Go back over it. Please pray that I get through my new test presentation this week by the Lord. Father, we thank you that you are the God of preparation. And we thank you that Suzanne will do great. Thank you that the wisdom, you have crowned her head with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You have ordered her steps. And we thank you that you have made her ways to be prosperous. And we thank you that all is well. We thank you for the good report that she will excel and be exceedingly above what she ever thought. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, anyone else before we go? Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your prayers, your support. We love you. We honor you. We lift you up to the Lord. We cover you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. Father, we thank you for the seed sown by Zoe this morning. We speak increase, abundance, and favor over him. We thank you that every seed meets his need. Do me a favor. If you are blessed, then you consider being a blessing today. You go to the website. You go to the cash app. You can do that. Does anybody need any information before we go? Pastor Bryant, how do I give? Pastor Bryant, how can I give to your ministry? Your the, This ministry has been a blessing to me. I want to be a blessing. Does anybody need any information before we go? Those who seek the Lord understand all things. You'll do amazing, Suzanne. Bonita says you'll do amazing, Suzanne. She's on Facebook. You may not. Well, I think you're on there too. All right. Anyone else before we go? Any other prayers before we go? All right. All right. Blessings to each one of you. Blessings to each one of you. Okay. Blessings to each one of you. All right, we love you. Have a great day. Have a productive day. God bless you. Father, we thank you for Latasha sowing this morning. Every seed meets her need in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Latasha. Anyone else before we go? Anyone else before we go? All right, we love you. Praying for you, Suzanne. Awesome. Good, Dawn. You got a lot of people coming to agreement with you. God bless you, Tierra. The Lord bless and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine upon you. Father, we pray for a breakthrough for Tierra. Even as I saw her name pop up, I thank you for a master breakthrough. Show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong on her behalf in Jesus' name. Thank you. I received that, Renan. All right. Shalom to you. Shalom. There is nothing missing. There is nothing broken. There is nothing lacking. God bless you. Thank you, Rita. I receive it. Oh, Father, we thank you that Tierra will do well. We thank you for the discipline. We thank you for the grace and the anointing. And we thank you that the spirit of a finisher is upon her. The spirit of a finisher is upon her. The spirit of a finisher is upon her. And the longer she goes, the stronger she gets in Jesus' name. All right, we love you. We honor you all. Have a wonderful and a productive day. And I say to you, may the Lord, may the Lord restore your soul. May the Lord restore your soul. Somebody receive that. May the Lord restore your soul. Receive that, your mind, your will, and your emotions. Come on, receive it. May the Lord restore your soul. Come on, you need it. Come on, you've been working on your body. You've been working on your spirit, and you've been neglecting your soul. But now we know that we've got to deal with the soul. Don't neglect your soul. You work on your body. You work on your spirit but you have been neglecting your soul. It is a new day. Good, Regina. Good, Lisa. Good, Benita. Good, Rita. Good. Good, Aisha. Good. Good, Tierra. Good. May the Lord restore your soul. Good, Dawn. Good. Good. I love it. Good, Valerie. No longer neglecting my soul. Good. Father, we pray for the cousin's daughter, Call David's little girl. Father, we thank you for touching her now in the mighty name of Jesus. Show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong on her behalf. We pray for this family. Encourage them. May they see you through this like never before. God bless you, Gloria. Thank you for joining us. All right. Shalom. The Lord restore your soul. Have a great day. Blessings to you all on Periscope. Thank you once again for joining us. It has been my pleasure. It has been my honor to come on and to share with you this morning. The Lord bless and keep you. Love you. Have a great day.